Are you in the market to buy or sell real estate now or in the near future? If so, call Evelyn Hargis of Solutions Real Estate. Evelyn can be reached at 480-510-5290. The first step to a no-worry real estate experience is to call Evelyn Hargis Solutions Real Estate. Now entering his 10th season, Steve Bell is the head coach of the Hamilton Huskies. 115 wins against just 11 losses. Looking for that gold ball here, and it's our season premiere of Husky football. Coming up next on APN Video Sports. Tonight we're coming to you from Oro Valley, Arizona, near Tucson, Arizona, on a very warm night for high school football. It's our season premiere of Hamilton Husky Varsity Football, powered by Solutions Real Estate. And from Ironwood Ridge High School, the Nighthawks entering the field for the first time. They're coming off a 9-2 season a year ago, lost in the first round to Sunnyside, 35-14. And they are led by their seventh-year head coach, Matt Johnson. On the other side, Hamilton, of course, been to the state championship seven consecutive years. Overall, they have seven state titles in a total of 12 state championship appearances. They're seven and five in the big game. As we take a look at our team captains led by number 46, Braxton Banaszewski. He's gonna be out for a while. Colton Hayes, number 52, the outstanding offensive lineman. Kyler Burke, number four, one of the most explosive skill position players and special teams players in the state. And Tyson J. Santa on that defensive, uh, ain't really truly anchors the defense here for the Hamilton Huskies. As we said, they have won seven, uh, have been to the finals seven years in a row. They beat Mountain Point back in 2012, but last year lost to Chandler in the finals, lost to Mountain Point in 2013, and the only goal for this team this year is to win that gold ball. So we're getting set to go. It's week one of the high school gridiron campaign. I'm Jeff Lowry with APN Video Sports. Our Encore Gamecast is coming up next. Family-owned Joseph's Moving and Storage is a proud sponsor of Hamilton Huskies football. Family-owned with a full-service storage facility specializing in residential and commercial moving. Call 480-940-7757 or go to their website at josephsmovingandstorage.com. Well, they're on their feet here at Ironwood Ridge High School. Matt Johnson's Nighthawks, 9-2 a year ago, carried a nine-game win streak into that first round playoff loss against Sunnyside. Johnson 53-20 overall in his coaching career here at Ironwood Ridge. So we're set to go. Dylan Brown, left-footed kicker, boots this one into the air, and it's going to go over towards the far sideline, picked up near the 10-yard line, and this season is underway and starting off with great special teams coverage for the Hamilton Huskies led by Tanner Palomares. So a tremendous play on special teams by number 26. Garrett Rand, the big man, the senior, the four-year starter at number 93, will anchor the defense with linebacker Tyler Kennedy, who wears number 33. And at quarterback for the Nighthawks, the former Hamilton Husky, Harrison B. Miller. He is a senior this year and, of course, was on the freshman team that so many of these Hamilton Husky players were on three seasons ago. So our first play from scrimmage. This is it. This is the first official game and they go with a screen pass to the near side. It was well covered into the flats. It goes incomplete. Fine job by Tyler Alexander even though there was confusion. You look at the defensive coordinator Lane Reynolds over there on the far side. There was a missed assignment and fortunately for Hamilton that was a high pass from the quarterback, Harrison B. Miller, the senior quarterback for the Nighthawks. Second down and 10. We're just underway, no score, and a low pass, and they're going to rule that one incomplete. And Ironwood Ridge now looking at a third down. Third down and 10. 0-0 ball game. We are approaching the 11-minute mark here in quarter number one. 
Good tight coverage on the slot receiver to the near side. And they're going to run with it. Quarterback calls his own number. Harrison up to the 19, and he's going to be stopped cold right there. It'll be a three and out. And a tremendous play by Trevor Jensen returning the senior linebacker, and they're hoping that he is going to be one of many in a long line of perennial all-state linebackers. Now the dangerous Kyler Burke back to receive. Cash Peterman, the sophomore, will punt. With a line of scrimmage near the 19, and he gets a high punt away. It's a 32-yard punt. Kyler dancing around and now out of bounds. Looks like a late hit near the 43, close to a 10-yard return. And the Hamilton Huskies will have it with 11.01 left to play here in the opening quarter. It's our season premiere of Hamilton Huskies football. Look at that offensive front line led by 67, Chris Collins, 72, Isaac Joseph coming off an injury plague season a year ago. Jacob Bernard, number 55, getting the start. And, of course, at quarterback, the senior, Travis Lockhart. First down and 10, and he will hand off in a big hole right side. Austin Lowe still on his feet inside the 10, the 5, and he's going to be wrapped up at the three-yard line. Touchdown saving tackle by Christian Hacker, but not before. He picks up close to 40 yards in a first down. And a very impressive run, but boy, what a great job by the offensive front wall on the right side, opening up a big hole. And Hamilton is forced to call a timeout on their second play from scrimmage. Of course, the tight end here today is going to be Donovan Ross, a young man who was Kind of destined to be a great defensive player and maybe even a running back in his early days. 62 on the front line, James Terry. So it's first and goal after the run. Gain of 39 yards for number 22, Austin Lowe. And now Lockhart looked like he wanted to run the option. Instead, hands off and straight up the gut, nothing doing. And I give some credit to that Ironwood defense, Ironwood Ridge defense, led by one of the top players in the state. Chase Larita, he's a senior. Tremendous speed for a offensive defensive lineman. So it's second down and goal. Second and goal from the four yard line of Ironwood Ridge. And now Travis working out a shotgun, keeping himself, option pitch right. Here's low and he will get it across the line of scrimmage. That play was thwarted by their quarterback slash linebacker, Harrison B. Miller. Colton Hayes leading the offensive line, and now third down and goal for Hamilton. Austin Lowe lined up as a single setback. Williams in motion, and a quick pass over the middle, and Donovan Ross has found the promised land, and Hamilton now leads it 6 to nothing. Travis Lockhart hooking up with his tight end, and Hamilton draws first blood in this ballgame. Four plays, 42 yards. And now Dylan Brown in for the extra point out of the hold of Aaron Howard. And with the penalty going against the home team, the Ironwood Ridge Nighthawks, Lockhart comes back out and they'll go for the two point conversion. So Ross on a four yard pass from Lockhart. Lockhart calls his own number on the two point conversion and down he goes. It was his opposite number, quarterback slash linebacker, Harrison B. Miller. Crowd responding, but Hamilton here in the first with 9.08 left to go, leads it six to nothing. Four plays, 42 yards, encompassing just under two minutes of clock. Jared McCammy back to receive along with Helu. And this one's gonna go eight yards deep. Let's look at that defense. Emmanuel Byarm, number 948, who is expected to have a huge year. Bernard White, number 48. First down and 10 for Ironwood Ridge. This is their second play from scrimmage, and they will run it right up the gut, slicing through the front wall, but not past the tackle of Benjamin Hart, or rather uh, Bossolette, Joshua Bossolette, the junior. And a pickup of two on the play brings up second down and eight for the Nighthawks. First quarter action, the Hamilton Huskies draw first blood and lead it six to nothing 
on a four-yard touchdown pass, Lockhart to Ross, and you're caught up. Here's the handoff, and this time bouncing off a couple of defenders, upfield to a seven-yard pickup, leaving them in a short yardage play. So the run that time belonged to Cole Lafferty, McLafferty. He was brought down by Trevor Jensen. Jalen Parson stepping up. Parson, one of those players with a chance maybe to get some All-State consideration. And now it's third down and just under two yards left to play. Run it out. Quarterback, B. Miller, lowers his head, taking on defenders, including number four, Kyler Burke and company. And did he get enough for the first down? There is a penalty marker on the play. We're going to get a hold against the offense, so that's going to bring it back. Well, it's a beautiful but warm evening. Our game time temperature, 101 degrees here at Oro Valley, Arizona, a distant suburb of downtown Tucson, Arizona. So they move the ball all the way back to the 15, and now you got a third and 15 and a long pass to the near side with blanket coverage by Parson. It goes incomplete near the Hamilton 43-yard line. Kyler Burke is back to receive the ensuing punt. Six-nothing Hamilton here in quarter number one. And our season premiere of Hamilton Huskies football powered by Solutions Real Estate. And Evelyn Hargis. Short punt. And this time it's going to take a favorable roll and Burke picks it up and is down near the 43. Phenomenal coverage by Jose Montano. 7-12 7-12 left to go opening quarter here and a timeout by the Nighthawks. Now just a reminder, our game today brought to you by APM Video Sports. For highlight reels and your next event, go to apmvideo.com. Quick pass to the flats near side. Williams going to work. As the line of scrimmage was set originally at the 44, he gets it inside Nighthawk territory all the way down to the 48-yard line and a pickup of eight yards on the play. Lockhart, a senior quarterback, back to pass and looking and fires over the middle and it's in and out of the hands of Brewington, the intended target, broken up near the 20-yard line by McLafferty. Hamilton on offense, third down and two. Third down and two, they will run the option. Here's Burke, nice cutback move near the 45, still on his feet down to the 34. First down yardage, 14 yard pickup for the senior and he is primed and ready to have an all state season, Kyler Burke. First quarter action, Hamilton up six to nothing. First down and 10, set the ball at the 35. Williams eluded a tackle in the backfield, gets it down to the 25 and then Wrestled down near the 24-yard line. That's going to be enough for the first down. Colton Hayes plowing the field ahead and getting downfield along with offensive lineman Chris Collins. First down and 10 from the 24. Lockhart with the rollout and will throw, and the ball is going to be caught at the two-yard line by Burke. He lunges to the one. It's 23 yards for Kyler Burke on a spectacular throw from Travis Lockhart. And that play right there really has silenced the crowd here at Ironwood Ridge High School. First quarter action. Hamilton six, the Nighthawks nothing. Goal to go from the one yard line and the inside handoff and Hamilton leads it 12 to nothing. Austin Lowe scores from one yard out and it's 12 nothing Huskies. Dylan Burke, Dylan Burke, excuse me, Dylan Brown. And a bad hold or a bad snap, one of the two and this is going to be the second consecutive score that Hamilton has went for the extra point and it has failed. So a tremendous job by Ironwood Ridge. And with 5.07 left to go here in quarter number one, a great turnout here for the Husky faithful in our season premiere of Hamilton Husky football in APN. 28. So back to receive again, Soma Hilu and Jared McKemmy. Dylan Brown, the kick and a high booming towering 
kick that goes eight yards deep into the end zone, his second touchback of the game. Yeah, you saw Tyson 44 and big 93. Garrett ran anchoring that wall, that defensive wall for Lane Reynolds, the defensive coordinator. And B. Miller gets out of trouble and somehow slivered out of the pocket and gets it up to the 26-yard line. Gain of six on the play. I'll tell you what, Harrison B. Miller with this very fast defense of the Hamilton Huskies, he has been forced to run the ball more than I think really his coach, Matt Johnson, uh, would prefer. So second down and four, ball resting at the 26-yard line. And Miller in trouble, and down he goes. And his former teammate, they were on the same freshman team, Tyler Kennedy getting in there with lightning-like swiftness, and that's a quarterback sack all the way back close to the 20-yard line. So third down, we'll call it third and 10. Loss of six on the play for B. Miller. And he's calling his own number again, and he is gonna be about two yards shy of a first down. Kennedy again. It looked like maybe 21 got in there. Ty Reynolds, a sophomore sensation. They are hoping to get three big years out of Ty Reynolds, of course, the son of the defensive coordinator, Lane Reynolds. So another three and out. That's three in a row. They got pressure on the punter. He's going down at the 17-yard line. Trevor Jensen got back there for the negative yardage play. Hamilton will have a short field with 3.03 left to go here in quarter number one, and they lead it 12 to nothing. Back in at quarterback with a 12-point lead is Lockhart. And Lockhart calls his own number and scampers down to the 16. Gain of about three, maybe four on the play. Second down coming up for the Huskies. Gain of three. Under center and a bad exchange. The ball was dropped. They'll bring up third down and eight. Travis Lockhart, who saw some good playing time last year, though was not the starting quarterback, finds low the safety valve pass that time, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. Good swarming defense led by Michael Ayers, and it's fourth down, and I think we'll see maybe Dylan Brown, though. A late flag is coming in, and this might be a sideline warning here against Hamilton. We're in the first quarter. The Huskies lead the Nighthawks 12 to nothing. It's week number one of the Gridiron Campaign, and now attempting a 36-yarder is Dylan Brown. He went from 50 yards out last year again at Highland, and the field goal is good. So a 36-yard field goal by Dylan Brown, and he has extended the lead with one minute left to go here in the first. Hamilton 15. The Ironwood Ridge Nighthawks, nothing. He's turned from the four. Get it up to the 15 to the 20 and wrapped up near the 23-yard line. And again, good special teams coverage. Palomares, 16 on the play, and that's Cito Hemphill Toledo, one of the great Phoenix American youth football players that we've seen and I've we've I've had a chance to cover this young man since probably since he was in sixth grade he's been one of the great players he's a junior this year handoff straight up the gut running play here for the Nighthawks Didn't get a whole lot on that play and Ironwood Ridge has been three and out every time a gain of one tremendous defense up front and when you see a stop like that by those two nose guards, 93 and 44, Tyson 44, 93, Garrett Rand, they're doing their job. Inside handoff, but this time they get past, and the ball is loose. Loose near the 29-yard line, and I believe Ironwood Ridge is going to recover the ball. And that will take us to the end of quarter number one. It's all Hamilton. Buying or selling real estate? Call Evelyn Hargis of Solutions Real Estate at 480 510 5290. 
Leave the moving to us. Joseph's Moving and Storage, family owned. Call 480-940-7757 or go to their website at josephsmovingandstorage.com. Be a part of Arizona's top football program. Get news and information or become a volunteer. Go to hamiltonhuskiesfootball.com. Are you in the market to buy or sell real estate now or in the near future? If so, call Evelyn Hargis of Solutions Real Estate. Evelyn can be reached at 480-510-5290. The first step to a no-worry real estate experience is to call Evelyn Hargis Solutions Real Estate. Family-owned Joseph's Moving and Storage is a proud sponsor of Hamilton Huskies football. Family-owned with a full-service storage facility specializing in residential and commercial moving. Call 480-940-7757 or go to their website at josephsmovingandstorage.com. Jeff Lowry back here, Ironwood Ridge, Arizona High School in Oro Valley. And a third down situation, a third and four from the 29-yard line. And once again, they keep it on the ground. We haven't seen this Ironwood Ridge challenge the very speedy defensive secondary through the air. And they're looking at another fourth down. The crowd wants them to go for it, but instead they bring out their sophomore punter, Cash Peterman. Tyler Burke is back, and now they're going to call timeout. There's a good look at their seventh-year head coach, Matt Johnson. Fourth down and maybe a hair more than a yard. They will not fake it. Of course, it's still a two-possession game, and Burke will fair catch at the 43-yard line. 35-yard punt, no return. Hamilton now 11-31 on the clock, second quarter action. And Lockhart comes out, they'll set up a bubble screen underneath, and here's the dangerous Caleb Pitts up across midfield and down inside the Nighthawks 40-yard line. Well, they'll mark the ball at the 38, and I'll tell you what, you're looking at one of the top wide receivers, Caleb Pitts, 82, in the state of Arizona this year. Back to pass after a 19-yard gain. Lockhart, long pass, has a man. Pitts makes the catch inside the five. He's down to the one. Boy, I'll tell you what, Travis Lockhart put that ball right on the money. A sensational play by number 82, but it's all for nothing. It is coming back. So a hole penalty, a 10-yard penalty, brings up a first down and 20. It was spectacular, that last play, nonetheless. And now Lockhart faking one inside handoff, gives it to Williams. He breaks out of the fray, inside the 30, inside the 20. He's heading towards the end zone, inside the five, and he's just shy of the pylon. What an impressive run by Rashad Williams, who got cut off on the left side. He changed his field of direction and barrels his way all the way down to the one yard line where it's first and goal. 47 yards for Williams and the Huskies. Looking to go up here, 21 to nothing, and Lockhart fires incomplete. And McKemmy with a tremendous play. The one arm knockdown and the pass is incomplete and it saves a touchdown. So it's second and goal from the one yard line. Hamilton up 15 to nothing and knocking on the door once again. They've got it at the one yard line of the Nighthawks. Lockhart again will go to the air and he'll find one on one coverage. Caleb Pitts, you cannot afford to do that. He has scored, Pitts in from one yard out. And the second touchdown pass of the night for the senior quarterback, Travis Lockhart and the Hamilton Huskies now lead 21 to nothing. That drive, 57 yards, five plays. Took about a minute 21. Dylan Brown, extra point is good. That extends the lead to 22 to nothing. So Hamilton off to a great start. Steve Bellis, all smiles on the Hamilton Husky side. Lane Reynolds, his defense tossing a shutout here so far as Kenny King looks on and a beautiful Arizona sunset looking down on Ironwood Ridge High School. We're in Oro Valley, Arizona. 
Dylan Brown kicking off from the 40. And a line drive kick. This might be out of bounds. Nope, nope. That was out of the end zone, I meant. And so Dylan Brown has had a multitude of touchbacks. Three out of five kicks have went for touchbacks. Ironwood Ridge has yet to pick up a first down. And they start from their own 20-yard line. 10 minutes, 10 seconds. They'll screen it out to the near side, and Jared McCamey makes the catch. Eluded one tackler, wrapped up by the sophomore Ty Reynolds, number 21, and gains close to seven yards on the play, up to the 27-yard line. Second down and three. They're led by Hunter Alderson on that front wall, 79, who, after the shift, lining up at left guard. Harrison B. Miller going to the air. Long pass and did not have the timing with McKemmy, who was guarded by Burke. Burke, a two-way player. And now you're looking at a third down and three. The Nighthawks have went better than a quarter without a first down, but they're going to get one here. The quick pass to the flats on the far side across the 40 down to the 43. A 16-yard pickup, Jensen on the tackle, along with Escalante, who is a former Nighthawk himself. And it'll be a first down and 10 for the Nighthawks to the 42. That was a 15-yard pickup, first down and 10. And this is the fifth play, fourth play of the drive, and they don't get much. Jensen having a monster first half so far defensively, along with Tyson getting in there. Tyson, one of the true defensive, uh, one of the true anchors on this defense. Lane Reynolds. Deke Schutz is the offensive coordinator for the Hamilton Huskies. Second down after a gain of three, up to the 45-yard line. B. Miller calling his own number, gets to the outside, and then the solo tackle by J.J. Parson. They'll put him in a third and short yardage situation. The Huskies coming out in the, the all gray with the, the black sleeves and the burgundy or maroon lettering. Third down and four from the 48. B. Miller now flushed out of the pocket. In trouble, and pump fakes the throw and is out of bounds right at the mid-stripe. A pickup of two, and it's fourth down in short yardage. But what about Emmanuel Byarm, the senior, with the great job and, and never gave up on that play. And that's the one thing that if you're the defensive coordinator, you love to see. On fourth and short yardage, it looks like the Nighthawks are going to pick up the first down. A favorable spot by the hometown officials here, but I think that was a good spot, and they're going to get the first down. So the Nighthawks came into this drive without the benefit of a first down, and they have picked up two. And now find themselves in the Hamilton Husky territory for the first time here tonight. B. Miller works out a shotgun. So Mahilu, one of the fastest players on the team, went in motion, and B. Miller breaks a tackle, and up across the 40, finally wrapped up on the play by Escalante and company, but he's got the first down. Harrison B. Miller, a gain of 10 to the 38 of Hamilton. Ninth play of the drive coming up. It started back at their own 20. Quick pass, flats, near side, caught, good for seven yards. Good open field tackle there, and another one by Satchel Escalante. That'll bring up second down after a gain of six. Ball resting right around the 32-yard line. Hamilton with a 22 to nothing second quarter lead. Quick pass, and it's gonna be dropped. That could be a live ball. That might have been a lateral by rule, but they're gonna rule it incomplete. And Johnny on the spot was Tyler Alexander. Alexander looking good here in this game, the junior. Junior cornerback for this defense. So now you're looking at a third down, and that was a lateral. So they lose a couple of yards on the play. They get it out to Helu, and Helu's catch near the 30. He wa wavers his way down, and they're going to bring it back. There's a illegal line shift. So back-to-back -back plays, they lose yardage, and they're all the way back to the 41. So now you're looking at third and 13 from the Hamilton 41-yard line. 
Ironwood Ridge Nighthawks with the ball, and B. Miller looking to run. Rolling out, throwing on the run. Deflected pass, incomplete. Trying to see who might have made that play over there. It was a tremendous job by the Hamilton defense and another punt situation for Ironwood Ridge. This one's going to go out of bounds. This is going to give Hamilton the ball probably somewhere near the 25, and they're going to mark it at the 24. Sixth possession of the day, and Hamilton with a 22 to nothing lead. And on first down and 10, they come out running the ball and pick up a couple of yards. And this is uh, Jahar Jordan, a sophomore number 25, and boy, set every record at least at the freshman record level. Had like 37 touchdowns last year at the freshman level as Hamilton picks up a first down and there's that front line which uh, I think may very well be along with the skill position players. Some of the strongest aspects of this team but this time they weren't so strong as Tyler Stevens gets in there and gets the quarterback sack. So they lose some big time yardage there and Lockhart and company back to the 31 yard line, keep it on the ground. Just a safe play there and no game for Lowe. Brought down defensively by Jared McKemmy, who we called his name out quite a few times. So now it is a third and 16. From the 33, Lockhart over the middle and off the fingertips incomplete. Tried to hook up with Williams. That's gonna bring out Chris Collins, the punting unit here for the Huskies. And it's a rarity that you see an offensive lineman as a team's punter. And he got hit on that play and flags are down and all, hopefully he's gonna be all right. Collins is down and he is shaken up. There was contact with the right knee. Roughing the punter will be the call, but that's irrelevant at this point as the Nighthawks. And it looks like Chris is gonna Walk off under his own power. That's a good sign right there. So that will bring up a first and 10. Hamilton with a fresh set of downs and from their own 43 yard line, penalty marker is down as Williams broke to the left side, got around the edge. Tyler Stevens is in there for the injured Chris Collins, number 70 for Hamilton with 2.44 left to go here in the first half. So a holding penalty goes against Hamilton. They're all the way back to the 35, first and 18. Lockhart, bubble screen again, underneath. Caleb Pitts, explosive. Tremendous speed, 6'4 wide receiver, and if he's not a D1 prospect, I don't know who is. Another yellow flag is down, and Hamilton will redo first down. All the way back to the 37, so now it is first and 19, and here's Jordan going to work. And if you had a chance to watch number 25 last year, who gets about nine yards back on that play from the 44, second down and nine. Lockhart weaves it long and deep and just out of the reach of Kwame Lassiter, incomplete. And it's gonna bring up a third down and eight. But if you had the chance to see Jordan last year, he made so many people miss. So elusive and tremendous speed. Here's a pass caught at the 45 of Ironwood Ridge, and that's a first down. Kyler Burke from Lockhart. Two flags. And a penalty marker is going to bring it back. 22 to nothing. Hamilton were in the second quarter inside of two minutes left to play. Now Lockhart and company all the way back to the 28. Third down in a multitude. He goes for a big home run ball downfield, and that ball was caught and then dropped. Chance Brewington, the ground forced the fumble. And look who's coming back out for the Huskies to punt. It's Chris Collins. Back to receive Jared McKemmy. Collins, and he kind of shanked that one, and well, why not? Don't blame him, he was shaken up on the last punt. At least he got back on the horse. A short punt goes out of bounds near midfield. 
All right, 44 seconds left to go, and Harrison B. Miller back at quarterback with the Nighthawks trailing 22 to nothing. He'll pass underneath. It's caught at midfield. Only a three-yard gain, and what a play by J.J. Parson. Tremendous open field tackle by one of the safeties. So it brings up second down. They get three on the play. Second down and seven. Quick pass. McCamey catches it at the 50, races across the 45 of Hamilton, and he'll be wrestled down there near the 43-yard line by Tyler Alexander. So an outstanding job there by the Huskies. And now 13 seconds on the clock here. First half action, 22-0 Hamilton Huskies. First down and 10 from the Husky 43. They hand off, running left, needs to get out of bounds. He does. And Jensen, who is the leading tackler in this game, comes up with another one. Helu out of bounds after a gain of four. Second down and six. Just inside of eight ticks of the clock left to play here in the first half. The Huskies 22, the Nighthawks nothing. B. Miller back to pass under a heavy pressure. Hit as he throws, lofts it up. Burks under it. He makes the catch near the five-yard line. Races up along the far sideline. He's up across the 30, the 40. He's got blockers ahead of him. He's got one man to beat. He's inside the 15, the 10, the 5. He dives for the pylon. It's a 95-yard pick six for Kyler Burke. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. They are going to talk it over. And to be quite honest with you, it looked like the knee or the uh, the looked like the knee was down well before the end zone. But we had one official say touchdown. The lead referee says it is. He confirms the call, and it's 28 to nothing with no time left to go. Hamilton will bring in the senior left-footed kicker, Dylan Brown. They're gonna fake it, going for two, and Burke will waltz in with a two-point play after going 95 yards on a pick six. And Hamilton, here in week number one, goes into the locker room with a 30 to nothing lead. Second half coming up next on APN. Part of Arizona's top football program. Get news and information or become a volunteer. Go to HamiltonHuskiesFootball.com. Are you in the market to buy or sell real estate now or in the near future? If so, call Evelyn Hargis of Solutions Real Estate. Evelyn can be reached at 480-510-5290. The first step to a no-worry real estate experience is to call Evelyn Hargis Solutions Real Estate. Family-owned Joseph's Moving and Storage is a proud sponsor of Hamilton Huskies football. Family-owned with a full-service storage facility specializing in residential and commercial moving. Call 480-940-7757 or go to their website at josephsmovingandstorage.com. Special thanks to our sponsors. Also, we'd like to remind you at the end of this game, check out our Hamilton Husky big play of the game. A 30 to nothing lead and the Nighthawks come out in the second half. A squib kick that was dropped by Burlington and they're gonna get it inside Hamilton territory. Well, down 30 to nothing, the home crowd, not a lot to cheer about, but they're on their feet right now. What a way to start the second half. So Ironwood Ridge will have it at the Hamilton 33 yard line. First down and 10 and Harrison B. Miller trying to get his team on the board for the first time here tonight. They will go with the fly sweep, no way, fake it and the quick run straight ahead and Bernard White ankle tackles him as he gets it across the 30 and lunges around the 28, 29 yard line. Pick up a close to five yards on the play, second down. I'll tell you what, this Hamilton defense was so impressive in the first half that Ironwood Ridge only got inside Hamilton territory on one possession and picked up only three first downs in the total first half. Tyler Kennedy gets in there, a tremendous play. And Harrison B. Miller right now the only option in this offense, and because of the fact that they are so one-dimensional, they have not had a lot of success moving the ball. A gain of a yard brings up third. Let's call it third and five. 
From the Hamilton 27 yard line, Hamilton in the gray uniforms leads it 30 to nothing. On our Encore game cast, powered by Solutions Real Estate, and they break it to the outside. Wrapped up Escalante in on the play. 28 was in there, Alexander, did he get the first down? It's gonna be close. And he is gonna be held a yard shy. They need to get to the 23. They mark the ball at the Hamilton 24 yard line. Far hash marks, B. Miller, eyes over the defense, sending one man in motion, Cole McLafferty. He will fake the inside handoff, being pressured. He's in trouble and he's going down. Ty Reynolds, the sophomore, got in there like a missile and gets the quarterback sack and turns the ball over. Dad over to give him a glad hand and what a tremendous play by Ty Reynolds with 9.49 left to go here in quarter number three. Hamilton leads it 30 to nothing. Donovan Ross, talented tight end, goes in motion, handoff, right side, and Austin Lowe, who had a big gain of 40 yards to set up the Ross touchdown. That was the first touchdown of the game, and he picks up four here. So first down and 10. Working from their own 36, Lockhart, the quarterback, the option pitch. Here's the run left, Rashad Williams, who has a 47-yard run, which set up a one-yard pass to Pitts back in that first half. Lowe and Burke also scored. Of course, our big play of the game, you know what that's going to be. That's the 95-yard pick six by Kyler Burke. And to round out the rest of the scoring, Dylan Brown buried a 36-yard field goal back in quarter number one. Lockhart going to the air, long and deep, Scott Pitts, he makes the sliding catch inside Nighthawk territory right at the 48-yard line, and it looks like he's got uh, a Charlie horse in that left calf. I don't know, you could almost see it bulging out, but what a play there by Caleb Pitts. One of the great receivers in the state of Arizona, first down and 10. Tough yardage here, low, still on his feet. He's battling, he's all the way down to the Nighthawk 40 yard line. And very close to a first down. And the, the strength in the lower body of Austin Low was evident there as he took on a mountain of defenders and gets it down to the 40 yard line. Second down and one, free play here. Slam pass over the middle, and the ball is caught by Daylon Evans. And Evans is down to the 25 of Ironwood Ridge, and that's another Hamilton first down. 15 yards on the pickup. Lockhart, the senior quarterback. Lassiter, the receiver to the near side. Toss pitch, running right. Here's Williams. Slips on a blade of grass and lunges to about the 22-yard line. Not a very good spot there. Probably would have picked up at least twice as many yards had he not slipped. And brings up second down, a gain of four on the play. He moved it up to the 21. Lockhart will fire complete and right at the nine-yard line. Wide open, Chance Brewington. He's pushed out of bounds. That's another first down for the Huskies. So they mark the ball at the seven. Pick up a 14 yards on the play. Rolling out Lockhart in trouble. Nope, he lofts it up and wisely, as the senior leader that he is, throws it out of play. Now Pitts lined up. Now you wonder if he's going to get one-on-one coverage again, which is just a, a recipe for suicide here. Instead, they go to Williams inside with the run, changing directions, leaping defenders, and he's down to the two-yard line. Rashad Williams. Brought down by Jared McCamey. That was an impressive run. It's going to bring up a third and goal for Hamilton near the three of Ironwood Ridge. 30 to nothing is the lead. Lockhart fires too high to Pitts. Incomplete. And now fourth down coming up. Penalty marker, false start on the play. That penalty will be accepted. So it moves them back to the nine and gives them a... Third down and goal here from the nine yard line and we got another flag on the play as Kwame Lassiter goes up for the touchdown saving catch. Or the touchdown catch. So with the penalty, it moves them back to about the 13. So it's third and goal from the 13. Lockhart in trouble and he's gonna be sacked. Getting in there quickly was Daniel Peabody, the junior. 
And he drops him for a loss, and now it's fourth down time, and Dylan Brown, who hit from 36 yards out in the first half of the game to make it a 15 to nothing lead for Hamilton, is out there to attempt a 37-yarder. Spiker, the long snapper, and the kick, a wobbly kick, and I don't think he made it, he didn't. He had a lot of leg on it, but with 3.30 left to go, still 30 to nothing here in the third quarter. Today's game powered by Solutions Real Estate and Joseph's Moving and Storage. First down and 10, they will get it at the 20 yard line. B. Miller calls his own number and gets it to the 23 where he is bear hugged by big Tyson J. Santa. Pickup of four yards on the play brings up second down and six. The Nighthawks in their dark uniforms trailing here at home to the Hamilton Huskies 30 to nothing. And remember back in 2012, both these teams won a state championship. The Nighthawks were in division two play as the penalty moves them back. A five yard penalty to the 19 yard line. So the last time these two teams won a state title, Ironwood Ridge only has one in school history as they screen it out to the near side, Helu. And he's up to the 25, Jensen, the leading tackler in this game. On both sides of the field, both teams, six yard pickup. And it brings up third down and five. But uh, the last time uh, these two teams won a state title was in 2012. And that very impressive victory over Mountain Point by Hamilton. Quick pass. That's going to be caught. A nice job on that skinny post pattern. And the one thing, if you are the Nighthawks, going up against a supreme defense, uh, at least here in the first three quarters, Harrison B. Miller may have to just go for the short yardage plays and going underneath. You might see a little more of that as B. Miller calls his own number after they pick up the first down. And he gets four on that play. Big 94 in there. Jared Darby, the junior. 21. Ty Reynolds. Well, Hamilton has been synonymous with starting underclassmen throughout the history of this program. As Darby, nope, the ball is in the hands of B. Miller, and he breaks loose. The Nighthawks quarterback is going to go all the way, and he's got the touchdown. How about that? 68 yards. The former Hamilton Husky and his parents both a big part of the Hamilton program. And well, you gotta, I understand that, uh, you know, you'd like to have the shutout, but that is a, definitely a feel good moment. And I think there's a lot of people on the Hamilton side. That's not the worst thing in the world for the B. Millers, who were certainly a class act, and we hate to see them move to Tucson, but nonetheless, they are on the board, and it is now a 30-7 ball game. Another squib kick. This time it is taken care of by the Hamilton Huskies near their own 39-yard line. So Harrison B. Miller with a... 68-yard run. Boy, what a what a run it has been for that man. Steve Bellis, the man on his left is Deke Schutz, the outstanding offensive coordinator. And now first down and 10 from the 39. And a big run right side. Rashad Williams inside. Ironwood territory. Number 20, Rashad Williams, big game for us. Midfield in the Nighthawk territory. On a warm night, 97 degrees, still our game time temperature. Williams again, who has had a couple of big runs in this game. And he's inside the 40 of Ironwood Ridge. Jeff Lowry with you, APM Video Sports. Our website is apmvideo.com. Timeout on the field. Just a reminder to join us at the conclusion of this game for APM Sports' big play of the game. And we head to the fourth. It's all Hamilton, 30 to seven. Buying or selling real estate? Call Evelyn Hargis of Solutions Real Estate at 480-510-5290. Leave the moving to us. Joseph's Moving and Storage, family owned. Call 480-940-7757 or go to their website at josephsmovingandstorage.com. 
Be a part of Arizona's top football program. Get news and information or become a volunteer. Go to HamiltonHuskiesFootball.com. 30 to 7 is our score as we head into the fourth and what should be the final quarter of play. Jeff Lowry with you on the play-by-play action on the Arizona play-by-play network. And Travis Lockhart still in at quarterback. He sends Williams in motion. And they go with the inside handoff. Jordan breaks a tackle at the 38, kissing goodbye. The sophomore explodes for a big time 40 yard touchdown. And he is going to be, and I'm gonna tell you right now, he is going to be one of the most electrifying players. I know he's only a sophomore as Dylan Brown is in, the senior left footed kicker and the extra point is good. But you gotta look for this Juwan Jordan for many years to come to electrify division one football. The touchdown has extended the lead 37 to seven after the successful extra point by Dylan Brown and now he squib kicks one out of play. It goes out of bounds near the 15. Harrison B. Miller, who just ran one 68 yards to give the crowd, the home crowd here at Ironwood Ridge High School, something to cheer about. But then Hamilton comes right back and scores. B. Miller is going to be wrapped up after a short yardage pickup on the quarterback keeper, and he's brought down defensively by Josh Bosselet. Pick up a three on the play. Second down. B. Miller, out of the shotgun, his team trails by 30, screen pass, it's dropped, ruled incomplete. And now you're looking at a third down and seven. Bernard White, number 48, hoping for big things out of him. And now Dean Robb is in there, number 42, a hard hitting defender. Quick pass on a slant, it's caught near the 43, still on his feet up across midfield. And that's a first down. Nice run after the catch by Cole McLafferty. And that'll bring him down to the 47-yard line. Nice job there on that play. First down and 10. What is this, the second time? Third time they have been in Hamilton territory here tonight. Quick handoff, and Dean Robb wrestles him down near the 43-yard line. Excellent tackle there by a young man who Well, I tell you, I remember watching Dean back in the freshman and JV seasons and just a young man that uh, just a a big-time playmaker. Doesn't get a lot of the credit he deserves. Parson gets the tackle here, but a strong, strong run. Lattimore Hervey checking into the lineup. 97 is in there, Tristan Phillips. A few new names in there. Of course, Tyson's still in there at nose guard for defensive tackle. Third down and one for B. Miller, and he's going to hand it off, and Garrett Rand came around the backside to make that tackle. Pretty good play there by Garrett Rand, but not before they pick up the first down. Jensen still in there, the senior leader and linebacker. 13 tackles here tonight for him, or a dozen tackles here tonight. Big run to the near side, B. Miller, and nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. And Kyler Burke was there along with Tyler Alexander. Of course, those two have played so much football together for so many years. Second down and nine. Fourth quarter action, Hamilton with a 30-point lead over the Nighthawks. Inside handoff, the broken tackle, and the end result, he picks up about seven. Dean Robb making a name for himself out there on this drive. His fourth, he's been in involved with four tackles, in which three have been of the solo variety. So that marks the ball down to 28. Short yardage. Here for the Nighthawks to try to pick up the first down and the fumbled exchange. Hamilton picks it up and it's Garrett Rand. Well, Harrison B. Miller could not hook up with on the fly sweep. And so with 8.23 left to go here in the final quarter, Hamilton with a 37-7 lead. And we're gonna see a new quarterback in here. And it's gonna be Austin Bell, the right-hander. So Austin Bell, the junior. 
in at quarterback, and Hamilton will start at their own 33-yard line, first down and 10. We're in the fourth quarter, a 37-7 lead. He will hand off, running left. Juwan Jordan breaks loose to the 40, still on his feet. He's ahead of the pack. He has done it again. 67 yards for Jawan Jordan. He has gained nearly 120 yards on two carries, both for touchdowns, and the route is on here in Oro Valley. Dylan Brown's extra point is good. 67-yard run by Jordan. Hamilton now leads it 44-7. And I think a lot of the people here in the stadium, including me, I said this was not going to be a a rollover game here. I didn't think the Nighthawks were going to roll over, and I don't think they did roll over, but I I really thought this was going to be a little bit of a closer game than what we saw. I thought the first half would have been very competitive, and Hamilton came out here and just has taken care of business here today. Weintraub in on the tackle along with Rob, 56. Cody is in there. Cherubini, number 56, is seen. And they get the first down, now from the 30-yard line. And the quarterback again calling his zone number. Harrison B. Miller has been so busy here tonight. And against a Hamilton team, you cannot be on an offensive side of the ball. You cannot be this one-dimensional and expect success against Lane Reynolds' defense. So stay with us at the conclusion of this game. We'll have our APN Sports Big Play of the Game brought to you by Joseph's Moving and Storage. Quick handoff straight up the gut. And Tyler Kennedy is in there now, back in there, the starting linebacker, number 33, making the tackle. And again, Ty Reynolds. Well, next week, we will be back at Jerry Loper Stadium as the Hamilton Huskies on our Encore Gamecast. We'll be taking on the Queen Creek football program. We'll be on the air with the pregame show starting right around 6.55 on our Encore, not a live broadcast, but an Encore broadcast. Fourth down and one, B. Miller breaks to the outside, picks up the first down, ankle tackle there by Avery Barnes. Move the chains for the Nighthawks, it's a first down. We're in the fourth quarter. Hamilton has gotten touchdowns back to back after a 68-yard run by B. Miller earlier in the quarter. Back-to-back touchdown runs by Jordan of 39 and 67 yards and have exploded to a 44-7 lead here. Opening night of Arizona High School gridiron action. B. Miller again. Up around 20 carries here tonight. That's just too many against the speedy, speedy Hamilton defense and very physical Hamilton defense. We'll probably have several players vying for an all-state consideration when the season comes to the end. B. Miller to the air, and lofts one to the flats, and he could not hold on, and it was broken up nicely at the end. Elijah Robinson, the junior. Good coverage there by Robinson, but they're going to get him for a pass interference, and that might have been because he stuck his hand up. He was not playing the receiver and had no idea where the ball is, and they're going to get called for that every time. So first down and 10 after the pass interference call. Quick pass to the far side, out of bounds, stopping the clock. Though it's all academic at this point. Look at Tyler Kennedy getting over there quickly to get in on that play. Cito Hemphill Toledo, number 16 on the tackle. Second down and seven for the Nighthawks. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the Hamilton Huskies here on APM Video Sports and our website, apmvideo.com. Tyler Kennedy again. Challenging Jensen for most tackles in this game. 90 is checked in there. Tyler Quinn, big 94. Jared Darby in the middle of the heap on the defensive line for Hamilton. As we wind down week number one of the high school football schedule, Again, a reminder, next week, Hamilton will be playing host to Queen Creek right here on APN. 
Jensen gets in on the play this time. And Joshua Bosselet, number 91 for Hamilton. Jensen's had a great game. So it brings up fourth down and eight. Well, Harrison B. Miller still in there. Working out of shotgun. And he will roll out to the right. He will throw on the run. And it's picked off at the 18-yard line. A nice catch there. A nice two-handed grab by Cito Hemphill Toledo. How about that? And we are down to the final, 201, 44-7, Hamilton. Well, the offensive line now anchored by number 77, the senior Garrett Hargis, who's had a an outstanding career with the Hamilton Huskies, coming out throwing to the far side on first down and 10 from the 26-yard line, complete to Jordan. One Jordan trying to break another one. They, uh, they love watching him run. And I'll tell you what, with his two touchdowns here tonight, that opens up this offense even more for Travis Lockhart and company. Jordan again on the carry after a five-yard pass play. Picks up maybe three on the play. Third down in short yardage. Third in a short three or a long two. 75 is Parashow, Ryan Parashow. Helps anchor that offensive front line. Michael Sandoval in there, I believe, is doing the snapping honors and straight ahead for the first down run. And this time it is Irvin, Irvin, Daniel Irvin on the play. And he is up to the Hamilton 41-yard line, and they're going to take a knee as we wind down. Week number one, it's all over from Oro Valley. Hamilton goes to 1-0 with a very impressive win on the road against a very good football program in the Ironwood Ridge Night Hawks. Final score, 44-7. Time now for our Hamilton Husky big play of the game brought to you by Joseph's Moving and Storage. Leave the moving to us. So now the Nighthawks looking at a second down and six, working inside Hamilton territory. Quarterback Harrison B. Miller. Score 22 to nothing, Hamilton, and he is being rushed from the corner. Kennedy with the hit as he throws, and getting under it is Kyler Burke, and he makes the catch back near the five-yard line. Now races up along the far side. He's up across the 40, inside Nighthawk territory. He's got one man to beat. He's inside the 15, the 10, the 5. He dives for the pylon, and touchdown, Hamilton. A 95-yard pick six for Kyler Burke. It was exciting, no question about it, as Hamilton, in impressive fashion on the road, defeats Ironwood Ridge 44-7. They go to 1-0. Ironwood Ridge is 0-1. This has been a presentation of APM Video Sports. Jeff Lowry from Oro Valley in Tucson saying good night, everybody.